laser and LED is operating in the forward bias, forward bias, and uh, detectors that is APD, avalanche photodiode, and PIN diode always operates in the reverse bias. Okay, so this is basically showing you a PIN diode circuit. Okay, so this is a symbol of that PIN diode. Okay, it is basically a reverse bias. Of always we operate the detectors in the reverse bias mode. You have to remember this. So when the photon or light is incident in the depletion region, there is what the electron hole pairs, which is getting, uh, which is flowing uh, through this device. Okay, we will just see how it is. In this band gap, you can see. So, Jyoti, the signal that is the light signal is falling on this junction. In this circuit, it is the depletion region. Okay, so this is showing you a band gap. Okay, so photon of energy is falling on this band gap. Okay, so this is exciting electron from the balance band to the conduction band. So, the electron hole pairs are formed. Okay, so once the electron hole pairs are formed, you are applying a reverse bias here. So when it is applying the reverse bias, the positive uh, holes are attracted towards this end and the negative electrons are attracted towards this end. So when these charge carriers are getting traveled or getting separated towards the different ends, there is what? If the electron flow in the, is in the uh, one direction, the current flow will be in the opposite direction. So as a result, there is one, there is a flow in the current to the device. So there is an external current which is flowing. It is the photon current which is flowing through the device due to the separation of this charge carriers by the applied 